Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, new video. So in my previous video, so we have discussed with the twin tub process, also the P well CMOS process, CMOS fabrication process, everything, and the uh, under the CMOS uh, process technology of module three. So these are the things which I've already discussed. So please, those who have not watched it, go and watch it. It will be available in our previous videos. Okay. So in this video, we are going to discuss with the CMOS process enhancements. Okay. So the process enhancements is simply the in order to improve the uh, CMOS process that uh, what and all are the changes required in order to improve the performance, also the improving the flexibility, improving the what to say, uh, uh, width and depth of the uh, transistor estimation, performance, everything and all comes under the enhancement process of this CMOS technology. So what and all are the things required for process enhancement? Let us see in this video now. The CMOS processes can be enhanced in various ways to increase the routing flexibility, then provide high quality capacitors for analog or memory applications, then include the resistors with the specific characteristics. Okay. Then the key enhancements are double or triple level metal, double or triple level polysilicon, then combinations of the above. Okay, that is to improve the metal layer uh, or and the polysilicon layer by enhancing the uh, uh, what is it uh, levels. Okay, that is double or triple level metals or polysilicon for better performance. So these are these are uh, then we have in order to for process enhancement we have one technique that is polysilicon resistance reduction technique so what this does is uh, in the polysilicon layer we would be, it would be having one resistance okay that resistance would be affecting the uh, formation of transistor in a uh, better way okay in order to reduce that uh, resistance after the reduction the silicon layer which is formed uh, due to the poly uh, under that uh, inside that silicon layer that resistance would be affecting the outer layer of the silicon dioxide which would be uh, in, uh, insisting with the silicide gate approach. Okay, so that let us see now what uh, what it does to reduce the polysilicon resistance without adding extra mask layers. The refractory metals are used with the polysilicon. These techniques are illustrated in this figure as shown below. Okay, the first figure that is uh, this figure is the silicide gate approach. Okay. A silicide, which is uh, for, for example, you could be taking a tantalum silicide, okay, replaces the polysilicon as the gate material, okay. So, this silicide is marked here inside, you, see, you could see here, right. So, that is the silicide in the gate terminal, okay, in between they are formed, okay, with one bump in the silicon layer, you could see here. So, this is the these lines indicate that this is the silicon dioxide, okay. So, this is the silicide gate approach, okay. Some of the advantages are it has a very low resistance, uh, which is nearly 1 to 2 ohm, mechanically strong and stable in processing. Then we have easily integrated into existing process flows. Okay. So this is the silicide gate approach. Then we have polyside approach. Okay. So this is the second figure. You see here, what they have done is, you see, observe carefully. Here we have one sil silicide layer and just below that we have attached one small layer of polysilicon you could see here just below the silicide. Okay. Okay. So that is one change in the polyside approach. A silicide layer is deposited on the top of the polysilicon as uh, you could see in the figure. Okay. Then uh, which is called as polyside which is widely used in standard CMOS. Okay. So again this is a very very an essential factor for enhancing the performance of the uh, metal layer or the silicon dioxide layer okay next we have metal silicide sandwich okay metal silicide sandwich means you could see here we have a metal layer and one silicide layer in this uh, figure here in the third figure one metal layer we have which is called da darkly shaded black and one silicide layer we have okay those are of same width and same length that is in between uh, we have one uh, thin uh, gap where that gap is called as metal silicide sand which, which is not visible here but we have that and that is called as metal silicide or heart of moly okay between these two layers that is called as metal silicide land sandwich a molybdenum gate with the silicide cap forms a metal silicide sandwich so it is useful for faster switching and reduced delay okay next we have silicide process 
salicide is a self aligned polysilicon silicide okay in short it is called as salicide here you see here again uh, if you say, compare this with the second figure that is uh, the second here we have silicide and polysilicon here what it does is uh, silicide and polysilicon is overlapped but self aligned polysilicon is placed uh, with respect to the silicide in these two regions that is the gate and so, so uh, the drain and source region okay so that is one change in the salicide process that is it extends the silicide to source and drain regions as well okay in whereas in the second figure uh, the silicide is not extended to source and drain regions uh, it reduces interconnect resistance significantly okay the interconnection between the resistance would be directly reduced due to this salicide process okay so these are some of the simple approaches in order to uh, improve the gate reduction or the gate resistance reduction and the enhancement okay so these things are not required next you see here the contact geometries okay the in order to form the layouts and all we, we should understand this uh, contact geometries okay so under this contact geometries we have first metal borders uh, around uh, bias it may be required for both the metal levels required only on metal 2 not required at all okay so here you see here the three figures so this is the uh, thinox layer or the diffusion layer okay uh, so and this is the polysilicon layer okay separately so in order to make the contact connection between these two we to, you should be using one metal layer okay and that metal layer first is metal one overlap okay so metal one overlap next no metal one overlap around wire next we have coincident wire and contact so these three are the these are the three different cases for is for overlapping of metal then metal which is not overlapping then we have coincident and the our coincident wire that is metal overlap and contact cut okay in the second figure it shows only metal to uh, only border case in the third figure it shows stacked wire on contact used in advanced modes okay next we have double poly process it involves two polysilicon layers separated by oxide it is used to create uh, capacitors or vertical structures isolation oxide is grown between the poly layers okay so these things and all are not included in your syllabus so so now let us see the summary of enhancements okay so these are above things and all are not there in your syllabus okay so that's why i'm not uh, tending to do that summary of enhancement again enhancement techniques we have silicide polyside that is it reduces the gate resistance then we have salicide, it reduces source drain resistance, we have already seen it. Then double, triple metal, uh, better routing, double, triple poly, custom resistors and capacitors. Then we have trench isolation to prevent latch up. Then we have 3D CMOS, uh, these things here it is mentioned but uh, that's not there in your syllabus. So that's why I have not discussed. It saves area and improve the speed, okay. So these are the some simple enhancement techniques, uh, four of them we have discussed here, okay. In this video so hope you understood those techniques and uh, in the next video we are going to see the very important concept that is the layout design rules okay under the layout design rules we have some different set of rules okay which follows the formation of layouts and uh, it could be very very useful okay so that's that we'll see in the next video so that's all for this video guys please like share subscribe to our channel comment down your opinions about uh, how these videos are helping you guys or whether it's helping you not helping you it is good bad worst you have the complete freedom to comment whatever you like but you should be maintaining a dignity okay while commenting yeah so that's all guys thank you